What's up guys, welcome to Throttle Tube. My name is Ryan and in this video we're doing an unboxing, ride and review of the aptly named Exo R1 Evo Air by Scorpion. Which by the way, I've seen shorter names from Russian MMA fighters. So without further ado, I guess we unbox this guy and see what comes with it. So we get some sort of instructions, I'll open it in a second. Are these just fillers, I think? I don't know. Something in this one, I will uh, get to that in a moment. It looks to be, that must be the visors, I guess. This thing comes with two visors as standard. It comes with a clear and a dark smoke. From what I've heard online, the dark smoke isn't that dark. So I've also bought the silver mirror tint. That is the beast. And there is another visor. Yeah, so the first thing I'm noticing by the packaging already is all this stuff looks quite premium. Like I didn't expect the, uh, the bag to be so thick, same as the visor screen cover thing that came in. When I got my RI, I didn't get any of this. I had to buy everything separate. I had to buy a, a separate visor, a separate pin lock. Ah, ah. This must be the visors because it's so much bigger. This must be the pin lock. Do you know what? Hopefully you guys can see that. That looks super cool. That's got a really nice uh, the back fendery kind of things. It's got a nice like thick rubber to it, and it's obviously engraved with Scorpion. But yeah, it's a uh, first impressions. It's very light. It's a lot lighter than my RI. I'll give it that. They feel quite premium. I mean, I'm saying that as if this is a super cheap helmet. It's not. It's really not a budget helmet. I do like the fact that it does come with a, uh, a chin skirt thing. I don't know how you get it off. I'll look at it later. But it's quite thick. Like it's quite a thick foam. That should hopefully block out quite a lot of noise. But so far I'm quite impressed, especially with the uh, the helmet bag. It's got a really nice like velvety kind of finish on the inside. The fact it even has a visor case in itself is pretty cool to be fair. And I get it. So obviously the uh, clear one is on the helmet already. And that's the dark smoke. How that comes out on camera, I don't know. But it's not very dark at all. If you compare that against the RI, that's a stark difference. But yeah, that's the uh, dark smoke that comes with the uh, Scorpion. So what's in the mystery box? Yeah, I've got a feeling it's going to be the um, pin lock. But I was lied to by myself. So there's nothing in there apart from the manual. Right. Oh, uh-huh. Fog resistance lens. That's the pin lock. That's pretty cool. My RI doesn't have that at all. It has really nice titanium D-locks, D-links, whatever they're called. And right in there, you can see a red thing that you push. So it's just a pump that you squeeze and it fills up the sides of the cheeks to squash more. So if you're going at a higher speed, you can quickly just pump it from the front, obviously under your chin, and it will hold the helmet. And right next to that is a little release button that you push and it deflates. I'll be impressed if that picked her up on the camera. Can you see in there? That's a crack in the back of the helmet and you can see the foam for it. And this R1 thing here is lifted a little bit. So as much as I want to love this helmet, that's already marking it down a bit. So I'll be taking this back tomorrow and swapping it for a new one. So the first thing I'm noticing, if I'm comparing to the Arai once again, is how comfortable it is. This is so much more comfortable. And yeah, I'm getting hamster cheeks. So my cheeks are getting squeezed together, but that's how it's meant to be. But yeah, it's very comfortable. And unlike my Arai, this has uh, ear holes for speakers. So when I put my cardio system in this, they'll actually sit recessed in the helmet. I'll just close this vent, see if it makes a difference. But this helmet definitely has a way better field of view. These uh, visors wrap around quite wide, so I can see a hell of a lot more than I could in my old helmet. So I can really see more out of my peripherals. So I'm sure it's probably gonna get loud in here for you guys, especially with my dodgy microphone setup. And what better way to test it? Let's hit the highway. That's surprisingly quiet from my point of view. The aerodynamics are awesome. If I turn my head, it's not too invasive. 
and it almost holds my head kind of where I want it. But yeah, dude, this fit is so comfortable. The fact that I can just flick my head left and right and it doesn't move. We're going to be having some fun with this helmet. For sure. Quick sound check for no reason. Mm. Right, so I hope that covers everything from a user experience on road perspective. If I've missed something, just ask in the uh, comments and I'll answer what I can. Back to uh, future Ryan slash past Ryan who's going to edit this to make it seem like it makes sense. Anyway, back to that guy. So definitely for the price point and the features you get for this helmet and how it handles and performs, I definitely recommend it and you'll definitely be seeing this helmet a lot more on this channel. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it and I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace.